So January and February in Spain are almost over, aren't they? Yeah. And we're heading north now. We left Cambrils yesterday, arrived at Camping de Haro. Great little site, right on the edge of Haro. We're going to be heading for tapas later. Supermarkets handy, everything good for catching the ferries. Yeah. And it's a lovely wee walk along the river, of course, into Haro. But it is very, very cold. Yeah, same as last year, yeah. snow in the hills again, eh? Yeah. yeah. Narrow path here, that's yeah. why she's walking slightly behind me. So we really like Harrow as a final stop, don't yeah, we? Sorry. Final stop in Spain. We love this, and there's two reasons really, isn't it? One is beautiful and historic and a fantastic place to just wander around. Yes. A lot of little things to see. And the second reason is tapas. Yeah. It's our final shot at us before we return home to the Highlands, isn't it? Yeah, the last supper. <laughs> last supper almost, eh? So last year we went on a proper tapas hunt, didn't we? Yes. Tried four different places. This time we know where our first stop is, don't we? Yeah. Los Barones. But they're all pretty good, really. Sal de tu nido, paloma linda, anda y prueba. So what time is it? 12.45. It's 12.45 and we are gibbering wrecks already. Will we try another one? Yeah. Yeah. So that was it, eh? Yeah. Did you enjoy that? I really enjoyed it. So first one, Los Barones. Brilliant. Empanadas, brilliant as always. Mm -hmm. Argentinian owned. This year, Colombian staff, so friendly. Oh, really friendly. They were fantastic, weren't they? Mm -hmm. The second one, I'll, I'll get the name right eventually, um, it's like walking into a vault, isn't it? Yes, I... Cave or a vault, mm -hmm. really unique. And that's the thing about Harrow, they're all unique, aren't they? Yes, I definitely. Fantastic yeah. place to wander about and get tapas. So that's Harrow and tomorrow the ferry. Yeah, and home to the islands. So yes, the first way. Oh, of course. Yeah. So that's it now, camping to Harrow to the ferry. And then yep. the long road uh, north from Portsmouth to the Highlands, which will be two, three days probably. Now, typically, typically for us, we let that down into something really short, won't we? Yeah. You know, so, but there is two or three things Clear. I'd like to mention, if you don't mind, on the way up over the next two or three days, you know. So I know there's been loads of videos done about uh, Brittany Ferries. This is the Salamanca, but these are the cheapest cabins. Definitely good for us, eh? Yeah, well, what, fifth at the van, would you say? Sixth, yep, maybe. Fifth, sixth. Mm -hmm. Good job. Well done. Well done. <laughs> so it's a dirty old day to believe in Spain, isn't it? But yeah. we'll be glad to get home. Yeah. There's people we've missed and people we want to see, especially the little people, if you know what I mean. Yes. Mm -hmm. Especially the little people. And everyone's a bit contrast, isn't it? We've had a fantastic time in Spain. This is just excellent for the beer biscuit in a match. Unbelievable. <laughs> so land hallway. Yep. I'm still not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, are you? Mm, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. Well, that's the end of two months or... Two months in Spain. Two months in Spain, yeah. Still, a lot to be happy about, eh? Yeah. So we're at Dublis Park, just along from Portsmouth. Mm -hmm. It's a great little site, we love it, don't we? Yeah, we're here, it's lovely. Yeah, we're here for two nights this time, yeah. yeah. Lovely big pitches. And one of the great things about it is they're really good at good at accommodating you if you come off a late ferry, aren't yeah. they? Mm -hmm. Really good at that, you know. And it is nice to be here and amongst these private hedges mm -hmm. and things again, you know. Yeah. Looking forward to getting a pint as well. I'm so glad we walked to here, are you? Yeah, absolutely lovely yeah. people. We walked down here at the rising sun and on the little Quayside here on the River Hamble is where the commandos and Lord Lovett yep. uh, left to go to the Normandy landings. The thing is, famously, Lord Lovett had a piper, Bill Millen, didn't he? Yeah. Um, 21 years old, he played the pipes here while the men were embarking, also played it on the beaches of Normandy during the fighting, you know? Yeah. So the landlady of the Rising Sun told us they do stuff for veterans, like veterans' lunches and things, you know? Anyway, she told me about two weeks ago this was, she was upstairs and she heard a piper playing down in the quayside, yeah? Yeah. And she, she filmed it a little bit, she says, because it was interesting. And then the piper and his wife, I think she yes. said, yeah, it was came into the bar. Turns out it's Bill Millen's son. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Nearly back in Scotland, eh? Yeah, nearly. Nearly there. 
Well, I can see the sign on oh, it. Also, can I? Yeah. Normally, we'd, we'd go back up the A9, eh? Yes. And the last minute, we changed our mind and decided to go the other way, go up to Tyndrum and stay in Tyndrum tonight, you know? We cheered up no end after oh, that, geez, didn't we? Aye. The reason is we got up off Lomond's side, Tarbet, Cree and Larrick, and it's a road we know well, a part of that road yeah. we know well, because when we lived in Campbelltown, coming to Glasgow, was a big day out, yeah. wasn't it? I hope there's somebody from Campbelltown watching because I, I, you know, I serve my time in the shipyard in Campbelltown. I love fishing boats, you know. We so, know. Yeah. <laughs> so Rona quite often shows me on Facebook. What 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 is it on Facebook? The page? I think it's the wee, wee town. Is it something like that? Something like that. Wee town community. And occasionally they put a, a picture of what is now an old fishing boat up, and it's like, does MD know? No. Which fishing boat that is, I get them every, every time. Every time, every time. I'm quite proud of that, yeah. you know. And yeah. then I get a story about them. Aye, well, I, she gets a bit of the history of them, you know, so unfortunately. But keep doing it, you know. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, we've travelled all over Europe. I've, I've travelled all over the world, really. And the place that makes my heart sore, the thing that makes my heart sore, is heading down to Campbelltown. Yeah. Phenomenal part of the world, isn't it? You know? Yeah, love it. And we'll be going down to Campbelltown as quickly as we can yeah. after the campsites reopen, won't we? Yeah. Because they're still closed this time, you know. But uh, I want to I want to make a better video about Campbelltown, you know. But I also want to go back to the shipyard again. And I want to try and describe better what I see when we go there. Yeah. Eh? That's it, Tyndrum Holiday Park, eh? Yeah. Final pint, a couple of pints probably, yep. and meal before we head back home. The last stretch up to Inverness oh. again. Say one of the other great joys for us are driving down that road, down Loch Lomond, eh, Loch Lomond side, was we see all the lorries from down Kintyre. Yeah. So you've got Mundells and Peter McCarrolls and McFadgens. Yeah. And honestly, it just does your heart good to see these things, doesn't yes, it? Yes, aye. So that's us fed in water, eh? Yes. Now, the thing is, we live in the Highlands. I mean, I'm a Highland gentleman, she's a Glasgow gangster. Mm -hmm. we, we live in the Highlands and these uh, landscapes are kind of normal for us. Yes. And it's only really when we come back from a trip. That's when you realise. Yeah, you go. We're tourists. And... Yeah, you go, yeah, I get it now. Mm -hmm. And there's still snow in them there hills. There is indeed, yeah. That's it, Rona, back to the um, pothole dodging. Yeah. That'd be a good title, wouldn't it? <laughs> pothole dodging. Yeah, coffin dodgers dodge potholes. <laughs> <laughs> so heading back up uh, home through Glencoe here and to more west coast camp and we hope yeah. a bit more west coast camp because I really want to do more than that down to Campbelltown as soon as we get sorted out uh, but we just wanted to talk about the big trip we've got coming up later this year but also to thank MD who watches and subscribes we really are extremely yes. grateful for that we never expected that no. you know? so anyway the, the, if there's a negative side to being able to travel a lot and there is no negative side, but if there is one, you can get quite blasé about it, can't you? Yes, I. So what we decided to do is, is instead of going to Spain in January, February of 2025, it would be, yeah. we're going to go back to Europe again later this year for a month. Our first travelling together really was on motorcycle and we had this backbone of a trip. What we want to do is do that backbone again, don't yes. we? Yes. Now, we did that a couple of years ago. Uh, because somebody left us a little bit of money in their world, didn't they? But yeah. we didn't do it very well because we didn't really know how to do this really. You know? and we just want to do it better because this is for our memories as well and for our kids and grandchildren to see many years in the future. Yes. That, that's the whole point of making these videos really. So we'll get the, the ferry uh, from Newcastle to Holland, down through Holland, Germany, Austria. Austria. The big part of it is spending two weeks down in the Italian lakes. And, oh, and incidentally, we Rona insists we go to Lake Garda rather than Lake Como, don't you? Because we know George Clooney's got a place in Lake Como and me and him being in the same place would be too confusing, wouldn't it? Oh God, if only. Yeah. Well, actually, she does say I'm very similar to George Clooney and <laughs> that I have two arms and two, two legs. legs. Yeah. That's where the similarity ends. So we want to do that and cook Italian as well in Italy, yeah. you know. Um, and then we'll go over the Sussex Pass again, which I really want to do because we've did that on a motorcycle and, and a pickup. Pick up, yeah. Sussex Pass to Interlaken in Switzerland, mm -hmm. then back up through Germany, stopping in Freiburg, we hope, and probably Delft in Holland. Well, the other thing I want to do is see again sunsets and sunrises over the lagoon at Venice. Yeah. Again, you know, do that again. That was fantastic. That was, I. 
lakeside pitch. We're going all in, aren't we? We're oh, definitely, yes, aye, yeah. yes. I think that's the key to it. We kind of see every trip as potentially the last one, don't we? Yeah, because you never know what's around the corner. You never know what's around the corner. I think all that remains to do is say cheerio or hello. Huh. No, see no. you soon. See you soon. Very soon now to Cleo and Charlie and Joey. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you later. Caught behind the nation blinds. How to reach for the city line.